Bitcoin and Ethereum, what's his next move? Let's find out in the charts here, shall we? Oh, well, you know, you can see that Bitcoin has bounced, right, off of some key support levels here. And we are looking to go higher, or are we? We will see and talk about that in, in the ne next little while. So make sure you sit down and watch from the whole, this whole episode from the beginning to end because it's packed with information that you need to use that you can... Uh, take advantage of the market and make some serious money. So that's, you know, what the Bitcoin's all about. It is money. And so you might as well sit and make some money here with Bitcoin. And if you're interested in trading that to make some money, you can do so at bybit.davinciej15.com or femex.davinciej15.com, both providing a $4,100 bonus, the greatest amount of bonus that they've ever done for traders who want to put in a deposit. So make sure you do that by heading over there. Links are in the description below. Okay, well, it's, uh, you know, game time. Christmas is here. Everybody wants to go shopping for Christmas gifts. They want to go broke. So make sure that you, when you do trade, make sure you trade with a small amount of money, right? So that um, you're not going to get wrecked, right? Always a small percentage of what you've got left in the account and you will do extremely well. <laughs> All right, so let's get on with it. Um, we can see that, uh, you know, obviously, right, if we go zoom down to the, um, the lower time frames, you can see there is definitely buyers here. And why is, there, why is that? Why are there buyers here? Why are there buyers at the $48,063 level or 60 in, the, in that range, basically? Well, if you zoom, look left, you can see that we had to break out at that level that was the breakout if you were trying to trade this the w right here that's where you'd set your buy order right there and you might not have gotten filled on that buy order so for example you could set well before price action gets there you can actually go on the exchange such as bybit or femex right and if you're interested just go to fem femex.davinciej15.com or bybit.davinciej15.com and you could set your buy order at that point right there so that you can actually um, buy when it passes that location or gets close to that location and hit the buy button. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in another video, but not that's not today's video, but I will show it to you in another time. All right, so let's uh, go um, look at the, at the shorter time frames and see if we can get some sort of trade off. Uh, there's not much to do here because like the market hasn't decided it wants to retest again the lows if you ask me right um and it could uh it could break down because we're we looks like we've broken out of some sort of triangle here um and um and then it it's it's failing again so if if it does break down the odds of us going further lower uh, increases but it's not a guarantee because it's still early here than this move and i would say if you want to do a hail mary it's not a bad idea from here um but no guarantees from the management all right um do your own research before putting your money into the market and you can see there's you know a stop run right there so hey let's do it let's see what happens let's let me show you guys how to put in a complete order from beginning to end because this is how you're supposed to trade with any kind of like trading plan is to basically um put in your entry your stop loss and your um take profit so let's this the stop loss should be a little bit lower than the than the actual um end point there which is down here like right? And so let's this that's okay if we're a little bit higher than the 61 78.6 but let's always go to the two point the two to one risk to reward ratio you can see that it's a 29 percent so we can go on a high leverage with low money so let's just do that so that you guys can see that um we're gonna go with a high leverage come on you can do it you want to do an isolated leverage, right? Not, um, not cross. The reason why, because um, it's possible for it to jump your stop, right? It's not often, and not I've never seen it happen on 
on um, Bybit, but you don't want that to happen, right? Um, and then you lose uh, everything that's in your account. Right? If you use Cross, you could actually end up using every losing everything in your account. So our entry was forty eight one seven six, I think it was. Let me just verify that by heading over here. Yeah, one eight five actually. There's the entry, 18185, okay? And then the stop loss, the stop loss is also down here at 48046. So let's put that all in um, so that we can actually show you guys how that's done, right? So I'm buying it there and I'm gonna buy a, a, not too much of a quantity, right? 100,000. This is a buy stop loss, right? So um, the t the stop loss is going to be right forty eight oh four six. There it is, right? You look at how much little. Look how little I lose. Should I be wrong? Like nothing, right? And that's how you want to live, right? And then uh, the take profits was going to be. Well, I didn't actually look at that number. So let me just pull that number up. It is 48463. Um, 463. 48463. 48463. And there you go. All right. It's not a whole lot that I win either, but it's still a decent amount. To, it's, uh, it's double of what I could have possibly lost. That's the key to this uh, game, right? You always want to win more than you actually could possibly lose. So let's uh, hit the buy order. So now that you know how to hit the stop, enter in a stop loss that every single exchange, that especially that does leverage, that have all these features. So make sure you look for it and you set your stop losses, whether you're taking a long or a short. Okay, so let's hit the, uh, the buy button and confirm right so everything's set so if price action comes down to where my level is well i am in in this particular trade for sure all righty so um with that said let's move on to um the dj15 token if you're interested in holding some dj15 tokens you should be interested in holding some because they are um, basically a representation of me and you can actually profit because I will be, you know, I'm adding more features to this token in the coming year, working really hard to get this thing uh, off the ground and get it moving. So uh, look sure, make sure that you're in it before that happens. Um, also, you get a profit off of everything that I make right from all the different referrals. So that links are in the description below for the referrals. Make sure that you follow these referrals. If you own a DJ 15 token, but like I said, hey, you want to get paid back for some of the, the use of, um, of my uh, referral. So make sure you do that. All right. Um, I want to zoom out now that we've done the shorter time frames and shown you how to do a, a stop loss. I want to show you what the possibilities are on a longer time frame um, and what you do for a trade there. Um, here, what's possible is that um, Oops, let me just zoom in on this. Let me just organize that. Auto fit. There we go. What's possible here is the re relocation right back down to the um, 47,500. This looks a little bit scarier than than uh, than uh, than the, this one right here because you can see there's a lot more support. This support may not hold. So I'm I'm willing to. Um, to entertain the possibility that we come back to the 61.8 from here. So let me just give you that. Bib retracements. So uh, I want the magnets so that I can make sure I got this right up there. And of course, there we go. And there we go. So right down there, and you can see the 61.8 uh, is a little bit lower than that. So I would say 
if we break this uh, 4861 uh, resistance, we could end up as low as the 61.8. So that's where um, I would like to start hunting a buy. I'm not going to actually go go directly and hit the hit the 61.8. I'd have to wait and see what happens there. If the market starts to turn there and there's some indication of of strength, well then I will definitely be interested in buying at the 61.8, which is the 47100 location. Okay, let's head over to Ethereum. Ethereum, right? Um, wow, nice breakout W, and you know it's just so typical of Ethereum to come back and like smack you in the face on a W, just like absolutely smack down. Like, no, you can, you are not allowed to have a long with the Ws. Just, you just can't have it. Ethereum can't let you have it. So let's just say you broke out right at you 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 bought the broke out breakout on this thing. Right? Your target your let's see where your target should be. Buy. Right? First off, W's um uh, end with a typical one to one ratio. So if you did it from that uh, first bottom there and got a one to one. Right? There it is. seems a little bit higher because we probably only did candle bodies but if you did that let's see if we are stopped out and you want to switch to two to one still not stopped out right but still you're hurting units that's almost uh, so you're still you're still you're still feeling some serious crunch pain here and although your um stop loss is well into the um the trend the downward trend line things are not looking too rosy for you um in this w and that's what i hate about ethereum um with its w's right um but then again you have to remember right if you're going to hit hit w's right on a downward trend don't be surprised if they get broken why is because the trend is your friend till the end so we should be focused you should be focused on on um you know M's and not W's until the trend changes. Now, you can say, well, Davinci, you're the one who selected this W. Yes, that is so true. And, you know, I am a, I am a bull. I'm a crazy bull. So just, just so you know, I have a like bullish bias. So just keep that in mind, right, when you're watching any of us, right, that um, on these channels, right, because we have a definite bullish bias uh, most of the time and you know, we can't we don't want to see what's actually there and we always want to go Well, you know what this time we got a W this time. We got a W. Yes, we have a W here and it failed Right and now a W here and is it gonna fail probably? Probably but no guarantees from magic could turn into a nice W. This is an also a W that failed Right, so yeah the trend is your friend to the end, so make sure you stay with that in that case. So what does that mean? Should you be going short here and not long? Not necessarily, right? Um, the market is due for a dead cat bounce. And so, yeah, this could be the, the point of, uh, of uh, return up, moving up. Um, so we have to wait and see. Um, but hey, I, I'm really thinking right that um, with Ethereum, we should see price action come back. It should be coming back to this 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 trend line. Maybe we get as low as the um the thirty eight fifty dollar mark before we continue up higher, stopping anybody out if they took the W. This is my bullish spy speaking, so keep that also in mind. Okay, let's head over to um, the the dominance. The dominance is like on the cusp, on the cusp of breaking down, right? And and just showing the alt season some massive love, massive love. I mean, like you know, like really kind of love that like holds you tight and <laughs> gives you. More and more Bitcoin every single day. 
<laughs> so keep an eye out on that. Because once that breaks, boy, I mean, I told you this way back when, right? When this, when I, when this, I said, when this broke, when this broke, it was like a waterfall. I said, I told you that. I told you so. I told you so, right? So when I'm, when I tell you that this, when this breaks, it's a waterfall breakdown, right? And it's going to come straight down. Watch out. It's only to 35%, right? That we're going to see things move down to. And, and then we have to reassess the situation. But that's going to be like fast moving and massive profits for anybody holding alts during that breakdown. So make sure you have your little lady on and, uh, you know, you get some pay. You get paid in some Bitcoin, right? And to do that, right? Because like, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about. You need to head over to my uh, channel here. Sorry, not my channel, but my website, davincicodes.net slash videos. And learn the little lady strategy. It's absolutely free and it only costs you your email. And you can see some serious profits priced in Bitcoin when you buy some of these cool and cheap alts. All right. Well, with that said, Thank you all for watching. Make sure that you own lots and lots of Bitcoin. You hold it directly yourself because Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay and you need to be a part of it.